Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today, we are looking at British battleships. Well, at one British battleship, really, because in the update 6.1, the British battleships have been buffed. And I'm really, really keen to see if these buffs are going to make them viable. And we're going to start out the party with the King George V, the Tier 7 British battleship. Which was not great <laughs> previously. I did not enjoy this ship but, um, an awful lot. And uh, I think that was pretty much of a common sentiment that this ship was going to meh. So what have they done? Well, they've reduced the main battery reload. They've given her a, an extra 4% dispersion. And a little bit of small caliber AA. Now the AA, you're not an AA ship. But let's have a look at the other things. So... Uh, so we are, we are now with, okay, let, let's go through the setup first and then we'll look at the stats. Sorry for that. Uh, you get, you get the choice between uh, torpedo damage reduction and fire and flooding resistance. Given that you have no torpedo uh, damage reduction and fire fl flooding resistance to begin with, this makes no sense. What you want to do instead is using the improved main belt armor, which given that you don't have any damage reduction and citadel protection, it doesn't make any sense either, but it feels better. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, camo uh, uh, equipment wise, I am actually running the ship with the main battery reload. And uh, that's, I think, how I had her set up before. And you could argue that you maybe want turret traverse or something, but I like the main battery reload mod on this one. It just, it really, in combination with the slight reload increase and the rapid reload build, it feels like, it feels like something I want to go full on rapid reload on these things. Because that's really what the gimmick is here. Uh, that... Obviously, fire supremacy skill to give you an additional rapid reload. I'm not playing with the master reloader because it's a tier 7 ship, so I'm re assuming you don't really have a, 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 a level 10 captain necessarily when you're grinding through the ship. And when you're, if you're already at tier 10 and you've got a fully decked out commander, why would you still be grinding playing a tier 7 ship? <laughs> Especially that there are some pretty capable, uh, pretty capable premiums at tier 7, like the Hood and the Nelson. I haven't tried the Duke of York yet, I will, but uh, for now, uh, that's the thing. So, with no historical camo, how does this ship now look like? Well, we've got a 13.7% pit citadel prote protection, which isn't great. We've got a 14% damage reduction, which isn't great either, but it's workable. And we it's actually not as squishy as you'd think. We do have a pretty, a pretty decent uh, maneuverability on these things. And we've got the main guns down to 18 seconds. And these things got rapid reload. So uh, this is starting This is starting to be fun. This was a little bit of a nudge. It wasn't a massive buff, but it was a nudge. The other thing that I really feel, and I have no data or information to back this up, but that I really feel has changed is the penetration. It feels like there has been a penetration buff on these guns because, oh boy, <laughs> they feel like fun. So the gimmick with the British battleship is obviously that they have um, very, very good... So they've, they've got a longer fuse on the high explosive and they're doing a lot of damage, but in return they've got a shorter fuse on the armor piercing and the armor piercing tends to be a little bit on the mass side. The AA is a bit better, but the small caliber AA, which is the one thing that, um, that has actually been improved, uh, has a 1.5 kilometer range so at best you will be punishing planes or after they've dropped things on you <laughs> but uh, it's not an AA battleship still it's um, you know it's nice to have but they don't expect to be shooting down fighters or, or um, uh, bombers in droves or anything like that right then so uh, like I said previously uh, I was not super convinced um, she's got 10 guns, which is nice for um, 47 and an 80, 18 second base re reload together with a rapid reload. Kind of uh, together with a decent maneuverability kind of start, started to make me think, you know what? This feels like a ship that you should play a little bit more aggressively. A bit more like a battle cruiser, really. So let's try it. First round, we are top tier and there's a carrier in place so we can test that new fancy uh, improved AA of these things. Uh, epicenter, frozen shelter, 
We're playing against uh, Hear You, Prince Heinrich, another King George, and a Black New Orleans. So all out tier 7. We do have a Fuso, which is a tier 6 on our side. Uh, but uh, we do also have a Kaga, which uh, tends to be rather uh, rather intimidating. So off we go. Um, like I said, uh, it feels almost like you want to be getting a little bit closer and um, blasting people in the face with this thing. <laughs> Uh, I have, I found that the high explosive ha does really reliable damage. So if you're fighting enemy battleships, especially at longer range, the high explosive is probably a decent choice. Uh, if you're fighting very very light cruisers that you would otherwise over penetrate, the high explosive is not a bad choice either because you can citadel with that as well with the uh, with the longer fuses. But the armor piercing is not something you actually want to disregard on these ships either. So uh, both are are decent choices. Anyway. Uh, we're going to go straight in the middle here, because Frozen Shelter has lots of island cover and there are no destroyers, so... <laughs> I mean, there's one, but it's a bot, so we don't care. Obviously, the carrier being a problem, but I have now improved AA, so it's time to put it to a test and see what we can do about this. Uh, friendly carrier is scouting, has found the destroyer. Uh, I've, I've left the HE on for now, because again, long range, uh, especially against battleships, not a terrible choice, and if you get surprised by a destroyer, not a terrible choice either. Uh, we might as well just try and see if we can hit the bot Akatsuki from here, but uh, I don't have vision on it, so it's just blind fire at this point, and I think I've missed most of these. Yeah, that was a little bit too high. And we are just going to try and get ourselves into the center, because that's probably not uh, not a play not somewhere um, that where the, uh, the enemy team generally expects you to be. And look at that dispersion! I mean, obviously the bot is just has just doing this, <laughs> because the, your dispersion doesn't matter. Uh, there's the enemy King George, there's the uh, Black New Orleans. So we can uh, probably unload one more at point blank at the at the bot Akatsuki. And then um, we'll squat that center cup here and make ourselves useful. Okay, enemy King George, hello. And I can use the secondaries against the bot, but the bot isn't really a danger. Okay, single fire, are you gonna damak on the single fire? Um, let's see. It is coming under torpedo attack, so... Uh, and there you see, right? HE Citadel on an enemy King George. <laughs> no problem! <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to fire HE the whole time, but... Um, uh, it, it's it, it's not a terrible choice, and the dispersion feels a lot better than before. Uh, it's a permafire. Let's see if we can get another one. Uh, I'm not always using the... I'm not always using the... Um, uh, oh, we've shot an aircraft down! Oh, we shot two aircraft down! Well done, us! Uh, the Fuso, is that a bot? Um, it's too dim to see. I think it's a bot, so we may as well leave the high explosive on. But um, I do want to switch to the armor piercing and see if I can do something about that uh, Black New Mexico. Also, it's getting a little hot in here. The, um, uh, there's the Prinz Heinrich coming around the corner. Uh, me meanwhile, the Kaga has taken out the King George. And I want to see what I can do with the armor piercing against that thing and then get get uh, get myself out of here because my heel is on cooldown and that's a Prince Heinrich over there and I do have a uh, and there's still a bot so bots take at, at this point if he fires armor piercing can get nasty as well so uh, of course double uh, double fire from something not sure what that was but uh, as you can see uh, armor piercing doing pretty ni pretty reasonable damage against the New Mexico okay there comes the Prince Heinrich so we do want to get out of here and uh, unfortunately we're not holding the center cup because something came through there I presume but we are now drawing a lot of fire here and um, I am thinking New Orleans is probably a good target for the armor piercing uh, semi pen quite disappointing but uh, if we can finish off the New Mexico yeah that was better and yeah, that's one down uh, obviously I'm on fire again but uh, we've got the rapid reload up, and this is a Prince Heinrich. This is a battle cruiser, not a battleship. So armor piercing it is. And manual aim on the deck plating. There you go. <laughs> that hurt, didn't it? <laughs> now that thing's got torpedoes, so we do need to vary our course and speed a little bit. And uh, we've got, got one more salvo, but the dispersion is great, in my opinion. Much improved at this range. Okay, that might have been an unlucky hit. But, um, or maybe we're getting too far away. But I'm running out of hit points here. So, uh, unfortunately, fortunately the Kaga is helping. 
And now it's just the uh, uh, the Black New Orleans and uh, yeah, the dispersion and the penetration seem to really, really have been improved. Um, all in all, uh, I think I'm going to die against that Black New Orleans. So maybe I can say, uh, I'll try one more armor piercing salvo and then I'll switch to the HE because I'm probably going to be killed before I can kill him. Unless I get a nice citadel hit here. Maybe we can still set a fire. Yeah, dispersion, that one wasn't so great. But um, you've seen some of those salvos. That was really, really nice. So... Um, I, I am I am I'm a big fan and actually it looks like I get another salvo off so if I had the armor piercing that would actually have been better but well I've got the HE now so that's what it is and um, might yeah that, that was that was underwhelming we might get the rear turrets on target oh actually the Fuso takes him out and I survive on 430 hit points well thank you Fuso well done <laughs> Uh, as, uh, you you don't have a scratch on your ship, uh, and I have 430 hit points left, and I'm down to my last heal. But hey, <laughs> this has been fun. So, uh, the the visible values that have been increased, uh, AA doesn't make a difference, honestly. And obviously, the Kaga takes the um, takes the MVP, but AA doesn't really make a difference. The dispersion, however, feels much feels much improved. The penetration as well, and the uh, the, re the the little reload buff with a full rapid reload build turns this, in my opinion, really into a fun ship. So let's do that again. Second battle, we're bottom tier. So uh, Roma, Kansas, Nagato, double Nagato, and Black New Orleans again, uh, Kagro and a Shiratsuyu. And it's it's encounter. So off we go. And we'll see, we'll see how we can make ourselves useful. Uh, still not a huge tank, right? So you do have to be a little bit careful with uh, with enemy fire, especially if you're bottom tier. But um, a fun ship, and uh, and see that that's kind of really the the difference in just gut feeling I got from from playing the ship again. Um, it was kind of okay before, but it wasn't great. And it's for a tier seven now. I think it's a really good ship actually. So. Let's follow that uh, Lo Yang. We've got a Charles Martel with us here. Uh, obviously, that given that we're bottom tier, especially if something like Roma is tra starting to focus us, we do have to be a little bit more careful. But um, we certainly can make ourselves useful. Now, uh, Lo Yang is going middle, which is unfortunate, which means he's, which means he's not going to scout the, the inevitable destroyer that's going to come down this, uh, this route here. Uh, unless they're lemming training all the way. But we'll see. I do have cruiser support, which is good. And there's the Kagero. Okay, both destroyers going middle on the enemy side. Okay, cool. Uh, Black New Orleans, uh, something we can shoot at. Let's unload the high explosive at that thing and then switch back to the armor piercing. Were they on sale or something? <laughs> Not sure why I'm starting to see these things again, but um, hello. Leave my destroyers alone. Uh, rapid reload up because uh, I know it wasn't an ideal rapid reload, but uh, he is now dodging torpedoes and he's giving me a nice flat broadside. So let's get a couple of shots in. And there's a nice citadel on it. <laughs> That's half of that thing gone. Uh, well, unfortunately, we can't really utilize it to its fullest. Um, that Luca Tarigo is very brave and I think probably very dead as well, unless I can blab that New Orleans out of the water very quickly. Let's try that. He is going. He is going in. Ah, double citadel, but it wasn't just enough to kill him. And um, somehow, somehow my somehow my destroyer is still alive. But I, I doubt that that's the case for much longer. He does. He, he inks, but um, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Nagato got him. Okay, let's kill the the Black New Orleans. I think someone else got him. Yeah, Charles Martel got him. All right, so that's uh, the destroyers were going middle. They've lost both of them. I don't even know. I haven't even paid attention to what happened to them, but. Um, uh, double Nagato. Yeah, we can take him. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Nagato. Manual aim up, deck plating. Uh, over to high explosive at this range. Heal up the first one. And yeah, at this range, AG is better. But uh, let's duck under his shots and uh, scream very loud. Cover the cover the Henri. And uh, let's uh, let's see if we can set some fires on that Nagato over there. Hello. Uh, Nagato is actually pretty tanky. This is a very, very good uh, tier 7 battleship. Still one of my favorites, to be honest. Uh, that's a double fire on the Nagato. Is that going to give me a Damacon? Uh, because the Henri is, a, is, a, is an IG spammer. So, yep, there comes the Damacon. So, rapid reload up. And let's see if we can do something about that then. Hello. Uh, Prima fire? Not yet. Might have been too early. But he is running into all those Loyang torpedoes. So, that's a dead Nagato. 
Uh, shouldn't have bothered. Okay, no, Nagato dead, well done. Uh, Roma, hello, full health Roma. Leroy Jenkins, <laughs> full speed ahead. And dumb the, well, not torpedoes because the destroyers are dead. Double fire. <laughs> Damacon, Roma? Uh, Roma seems busy. Uh, no, nope, no Damacon. I'll take it. Uh, let's see if, uh, you want more fires? Here, have more fires. <laughs> so let's push, let's push Roma. Uh, triple fire. And uh, now he Damacons, okay. I can live with that. And I've got more where that comes from. So once I'm reloaded, uh, he should be... I'm going to stay on HE for now. Uh, because he just Damacons. So the Damacons should be on cooldown. Deck plating target. Uh, Roma is shooting at me. Fortunately, no fire. But uh, I can I can heal a bit back here. Let's get ourselves in secondary range. Because we're in a British battleship. That's what we do here. And uh, yeah, Roma still needs to turn his rear turret around, so he's only got six guns on target for now. And I can take that on the belt. Uh, he's also need to dodge torpedoes, that's a perma fire. Uh, nice dodge on the torpedoes, but uh, let's see if we can get a couple more fires in before uh, before we go behind the island. Come on, come on, I want one more salvo off, come on. And forward turrets out, secondaries out. Uh, he's on triple perma fire. Yep, <laughs> that Roma is not having fun. <laughs> so he can burn. Uh, Nagato, hello. How are you doing, Mr. Nagato? Shots out. Let's see if we can get a fire on him. Roma is merrily burning over there. And that was no fire. Come on, turn, turn the turrets. Uh, Roma is still alive and seems to have managed to do something about his. No, he's not. <laughs> Nagato, Nagato took care of him. So. Uh, that was a bit mistimed on the rapid reload, but we got a fire on the Nagato. Damakonda single fire, there you go. Unnecessary, you're dead anyway, but uh, you know, I'll take it. And shots out, see if we can uh, we can get another fire. We need to lead a little bit more here, I think. And uh, we'll just see how much damage we can still farm. But yeah, uh, like I said, I, I am enjoying this ship. I'm, I'm really having fun in this ship. Uh, and we actually already won, so... <laughs> Uh, I, th I think somebody capped out. I haven't paid attention. I I'm really enjoying the ship. It's, uh, it's a, uh, it's turn. It doesn't look like it on paper. And again, I, I don't have any evidence for that. But I feel like the penetration has been buffed, because these guns are slapping like crazy at tier seven now. And um, uh, the HE is good. The reload really, really helps. Uh, the the dispersion helps as well. And I feel. With the, it, with the penetration and everything else, this is now a really, really fun ship. This, this almost plays like a Gneisen now, but without torpedoes and with not the same secondaries. But a similar style almost, like a battle cruiser style. And I'm enjoying that. So, uh, well done. I think that was a really, really good, uh, really, really good balance update. And at least this ship, in my opinion, is now fun. I'm going to go ahead and test the rest of the line as well. I'll retest the rest of the line and see how they play. But uh, that, that ship I enjoy. So that's it for me today. Thanks, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.